bite, uh, get smaller lure. It, it just very sensitive. Windy days, I can actually hover over my hole and actually get down there and block the wind. And you can see that bite detection really well. Uh, in shallow water, probably less than 10 foot. You know, I can mean, use this. Uh, Bites, I can try to stick with the traditional stuff out here, but if it's a light bite, this is my go to. And, and you basically, if you watch guys how they use that type of rod, they'll catch the fish, and once they set the hook, they throw the rod out of their way, throw it across the ice, and pull it out, pull it out, they hand it out, one over. Right? I don't need to actually know how they do it because it's, they're so good at it. But then as they're putting their line back down, they just drag the rod back across the ice. It's not what your normal weekend fisherman's going to do, but it might try the plastic stuff. We find that the fish are a little bit more aggressive. Get some more aggressive fish as well. So we'll let the kids try the jigging tube so you can actually see what your bait's doing. Because when you're actually going to be fishing out here, if you guys haven't fished before, you know, when you guys think about jigging, you don't want to sit there and, you know, bouncing around. The fish doesn't like, doesn't know what that is. So what you're looking for is more of a movement where you're just kind of barely moving it. So you, a lot of people talk about jigging uh, quarter size. Movement, so you got your jig or your uh, rod set, and you're moving it like a quarter size. And then sometimes the fish don't, doesn't like that because it's too much. You want to go maybe to a, a dime size, and you just want to just change your cadence up. If you're not catching fish, change your cadence. You want to change, if you, but if you caught something, remember what you did and keep doing it. Uh, a lot of times. Searching for a nice fishing spot. One of the DB uh, fishing team members, Brian, is uh, showing some kids on how to use a uh, depth finder uh, to locate uh, fish in the bottom. I think right now they might be measuring about five or ten feet of water. Uh, looking for fish and uh, also getting some tips on how to be a good fisherman. Last two years we've been in the shanty twice. That's it. We, we, no matter how cold we were in Minnesota, it was 16 below with 30 mile an hour winds. We were outside. I mean, you just for that you have to do what you have to do. No, no, it's good. We're gonna go up to another hole. All right, Dan's digging his third or fourth spot. Dan's digging his third or fourth spot looking for uh, some fish, but we'll follow DB fishing and see what happens. Okay, they're getting ready to start, and uh, we'll let them get all set up. Just so it's just off the bottom there. Remember the, how you show the, the jig? The weight of little jig that's on the bottom. Just move it just a little bit. Does it feel like it's on the bottom? Okay, you've got wax worms. 
Do you have some? We have a hundred. All right, so I'm going to show you how to hook a wax wax. It's kind of gross, so you might know it. <laughs> no? Okay. He says. It's a little hard. <laughs> yeah, it won't hurt it. They're doing it, huh? <laughs> That's uh, my son. Oh, is it? You actually brought him there. We went for the uh, fishing show a month ago. You know, oh, the okay, big, yeah. and he actually helped us buy the kit. But my son's been in the hospital for a year. Oh no! So um, it's actually we went to uh, uh, the University of Michigan. So. Who's going to be the first to catch one? <laughs> oh, Brian, what'd you do? <laughs> Daddy, I'm stuck. <laughs> oh, nope. All right. Catch that fish. All right, you got one. Yeah, all right. The winner. Great. I'm going to keep them. Are you warm enough? Come on. You have to get him off the hook. Come here. Okay. So, we're going to put some bait on everybody's hook? Ah, okay. Some spikes? No, I think he had a wax worm on. But spikes or, or wax? Yeah. I don't know if I have my bait hook on here. Let him go. Let him go. I'll go around there, everybody. Okay, let him go. Okay, let him go. Okay, I'll take you back to you. No! No! I'm too tired. I'm too tired. you that one? No, I think I Alright, what do you have on here? No, you do. <laughs> like, hey, I want to go to oh, oh, nice one. All right. Looks like a nice fish. One, two, three. <laughs> Hold on. I got to get that Excellent. one. That is a really good one. Okay, wait one more, you guys. Thank you. Thank you very much. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes they stick around for a while. Anybody got 
got uh I got the big fuck right here. Now, watch it. Yeah, fishing just like a pro. So what do you think about DV fishing and Brian and Dan? Yeah, these guys are great. Yeah. Really great. Brian, you got your mark. He's going to kiss it. Yeah, bragging rights. That's the biggest, biggest fish for the day. You're going to be addicted now. It took a while. Well, don't take it. That's spring. Well, not everybody's fishing. 